Okay, so hi, I am Kirsten Spencer. I'm, let's see, I am the voice behind Sleeping on the Job podcast. I uh, own and run Kirsten Spencer Photography, and I'm the admin of my Facebook group, Mini Session Inspiration and Photoshop Education. So uh, today we're gonna talk about back to school minis. I have two models that are on their way here. A week ago in my Facebook group, I did a post of, uh, I'm looking for questions. So do a little questions and answers about back to school minis, how I run them, what works for me, what keeps me in business, what keeps my clients coming back. So I am gonna go down the list and hopefully you'll learn uh, a thing or two. Okay, so the first thing comes down to making an ad. I tell people all the time not to attempt making one yourself unless that's kind of your thing. Um, I use Squeejo, Squeejo, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, I've used them for years. I get a template and then I'll just tweak it to kind of modify it. It has to look professional because it's the whole perceived value. Uh, so if the ad looks very polished and clean and professional, people are more apt to be like, oh, $200, no problem, versus just throwing a bunch of pictures and, and texts on a, on a, you know, some kind of chaotic mess, it's gonna not quite look, you might just kind of like swipe on by it. So I, I buy my template and the pictures that I use for, for my advertisement is the final product of what they're gonna be getting for whatever mini session I'm running. So for the back to school minis, I actually had my friend come with, with her son and I took pictures and then I used those pictures to show what clients will be getting. I see people in my group all the time, um, just kind of maybe a couple of the props they'll show or just something that doesn't really quite uh, explain what the people are getting. Now, if I didn't know you and I wasn't a, a loyal client to you, I don't know if I would trust that I was gonna like the final outcome or I, maybe I couldn't just visualize what it was gonna be. So I would say um, just splurge on either, you know, renting Santa for an extra half an hour. Um, of course, now there's traffic everywhere, right? Um, or renting that truck for an extra half an hour, um, getting some models in. Um, sometimes if I don't want too much out of pocket, like for the Santa, I'm like, you know, I need you to, can you come on, you know, where I can get a model, you know, just, I need you for 20 minutes just so I can get a shoot of what my mini session is gonna look like. And I'll give you all the pictures for you to put on your Santa website. And uh, he was thrilled with that. So I didn't really have to pay anything out of pocket, but I did get him to be in front of my camera for the picture I was using for my ad. So I think that's really important. Okay, so approach your mini sessions like a full-time job. Most people work 40 hours a week you have to hit the pavement with sharing your ad and making sure it's seen. A lot of people in my group will say, you're like, I'm no bookings, I'm not getting any bookings. It could be people aren't seeing your ad. So that, that's a huge thing is to make sure you share it everywhere. Um, have your friends, you know, have your friends share it, have your, my mom shares, she's my biggest fan, she shares all of my ads, but post them everywhere. And also share them where you think your ideal client would go. So I'm in front of where my daughter dances. So for example, if I was gonna do dance minis, which I just did last weekend, I would maybe have the dance teacher share my ad with the local dance school newsletter. Um, so people kind of like, oh, okay, I didn't know about that. Facebook has an algorithm that wants, they're not just gonna show the world your ad. They want you to boost your post or sponsor it or pay for an ad, pay, 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 pay. I don't want to do that because there's no, it's not even necess necessarily your target audience that is going to see the ad. So I don't want to waste money on uh, running my sessions. So I, think it's, so I think it's really important just to share, share, share every day. You got to do Twitter. You got to do Instagram. You got to do more than Facebook. My daughter reminds me every day, people, you know, under 30 are not shopping on Facebook. So, you know, if you're looking for, you know, that younger crowd with small children now, which are the millennials, I think, they're probably not on Facebook. So now you have to be like, gosh, where can I share this that they're gonna see? I know I hear Visco, I don't even know what that is. I'm not a Visco girl, so um, you gotta, you know, just, but you know, my, my daughter will share it on her Snapchat story. I don't even know what that means, but I'm sure it helps. Um, okay, so deciding what to offer. So for me, 
what I'm gonna offer, it really depends on how much is going into the set. So when I do fall sessions, I don't use any props, it's just um, foliage. So I will, I think I did 10, um, let me think, for $150 I did 10 images, or you could buy the whole gallery for $4.95 is what I did. Um, I use off-camera flash, you can probably maybe see. So my images are pretty, pretty consistently, accurately beautiful straight out of camera. So I don't need to go through and edit every single one. It's pretty much, I do a batch edit, a, a clean edit, which is white balance and exposure. And I give them, I send the, my clients their images. Um, if I was doing a set that was very intricate, that had lots of props, I spent lots of money on, it's gonna be a higher price, smaller, product like maybe three maybe 225 for three digital images with the option to upsell you have to keep in mind i know people sometimes um will comment on why private santa mini sessions are so much money but my friend was saying her santa is 250 dollars an hour so her santa sessions are 495 with, with with like three images um, but she has to pay Santa, so you have to take that into consideration. You don't want to do a full day of minis just to pay your Santa and not profit anything. So that's really important to, uh, to take that into consideration. Okay, I book every 15 minutes back to back with no like potty break, maybe a sip of water in between. Um, I like to just boom, 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 get them done and over with. And I shoot for maybe 12 minutes. My daughter, who's actually across the street, is gonna hold my off-camera flash for me. She's my assistant, and she has the best dirty look that tells me it's time to stop shooting because the next client is here. So she'll she'll be like, <laughs> so I'll see I'll see her face, and I'm like, okay, we got what we need. Next, um, and the last couple minis that I did just since I was uh, post COVID. Um, I definitely tell people like you exit from this side, you enter from this side to keep the uh, six foot social distancing. Um, Got to respect that for sure. Okay, have a contract, even if it's not like a legal contract, have a contract that clearly states your expectations, what the parents should expect, how this is going to work. So if your 10 year old decides they don't want to smile, that's not on me the child is old enough to know that he's not gonna smile. If mom doesn't like them not smiling, I'm not gonna refund because that's her child. So that's just what he decided to do or she decided to do. So what, what I, I actually have a blog post that says sometimes those pictures are the best, um, the best stories, the best memories. Remember that year that you would not smile? You know, sometimes those pictures are okay. They don't all have to be smiles. They don't all have to be award-winning. Um, However, I had a two-year-old for Santa sessions. I had a one-year-old that was scared, but he would stand in front. So we got kind of the Santa behind, you know, and it worked, it was awesome. It was his first Christmas with his um, adoptive family. So it was very exciting and emotional. He was afraid of Santa, that's okay, he's one, no big deal. I had a two-year-old that wouldn't even get down. He was clawing at his mother, like just terrified. So we tried for five minutes, she stuck around, I took some other kids, maybe he could scope out, see how it looked, whatever. He was not having it. You know what? I refunded her, I think it was a $100 deposit. I refunded her and I was like, you know what? It's fine, we'll try again next year and, and she left. Under those circumstances where the child is absolutely terrified, I know what it's like as a mom to be just heartbroken that it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't happening, it wasn't unfolding kind of how you thought. So I'm not gonna punish someone under, under that uh, circumstance and I'm more than willing to just refund. Okay, um, also uh, I make it perfectly clear in my contract that if you're gonna drink fruit punch on the way here, I'm not gonna Photoshop out your mustache. Um, I'm not gonna Photoshop out your boogers. I'm not gonna, sh you know, you put fake tattoos on your face. That's gonna add to the story because <laughs> I have to tell mom I can't, like these are quick, you know, I can't spend two hours, you know, editing things that could have been avoided. Um, I don't edit the colors of clothing to match the sibling because you couldn't find a shirt that matched. That's on you. I don't go, I don't go above and beyond like that for a mini session. Um, it's just, it wouldn't make sense financially. Okay, someone asked how you look for locations. 
So with a back to school mini, I thought I was thinking, I want brick. I want brick, I want stone stairs, I want grass. I want it to look like a school. Um, this isn't their school, <laughs> but it doesn't matter because I shoot at F2.8 or whatever, it's fine. So this will be a big blurry mess of back to school bricks and, and concrete and it'll be awesome. Um, other than that, it really depends. For fall foliage, I just drive around until I see a beautiful, you know, a beautiful, you know, red tree and some brown leaves on the ground, and I, I just, I go for it. I try to make it different every year because I do have a lot of returning clients, so I try to keep it interesting from year to year. Um, everywhere I shoot is free. I'll be honest with you. Um, I ask permission. I got permission from my friend that owns the dance studio if I could shoot here. Of course, she was like, I don't care. <laughs> that's fine. They're not in session. Um, so that's fine. I always ask permission. I know it's easier to ask forgiveness than permission. I think that's the, um, how that goes. But I always just make sure I give everyone a heads up that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be there shooting. Um, I let everyone know. Um, I also make a Facebook event page and I have everyone join the page or I invite them to join or they can join the page. That way everyone is in one spot and if I have announcements, like for my dance minis, it was threatening to rain for like three days. So I would post like, okay, who's doing the rain dance? You need to stop, you know? And so, and then I can also kind of build up the hype, you know, and I could, I can say things like, all right, start stretching, you know, get your dancing and make sure your shoes fit. Um, so I can post things in the Facebook event that kind of gets people excited. Plus they can invite people in, you know, and it kind of builds the excitement and the, and the value. So my gear real quick, I do have an off camera flash with me. I have the AD 200 pro and I'm using the 48 inch Octobox. I am socially distancing myself with my 70 to 200. So I'll be shooting at 200 millimeter. This is my X pro trigger to talk to my AD 200. I buy all my gear at flashgear.net. Um, the admin of, uh, or whatever you call it, the distributor of that website, um, very knowledgeable, has a Facebook group that will help you uh, start to finish, set everything up. We'll even troubleshoot with you if you get to location and something's not right, something's not working. Um, so I buy all my gear there and then I have a huge, I don't know, four or five foot scrim here in case I was getting hot spots on the child, but I don't want to move my setup. I have my daughter, my assistant, hold the scrim to block out sun. Even if I don't need it, I probably won't need it today. It's a good, good to have. Okay, so here's, um, here's something you're not going to want to hear, but I say this anyway, and I say it with love, and I always get a lot of eye rolls, but I'm going to say it anyway. Okay, it's important to know your gear inside and out because you don't wanna be in the middle of a field and all of a sudden your lens, you know, your lens stops focusing or your gear just stops functioning in some way. You wanna have a camera, you wanna have a backup camera, you wanna have a lens, you wanna have a backup lens, you wanna have a trigger, you wanna have a backup trigger, you wanna have extra batteries, extra batteries for your camera, extra batteries for, the, for your off-camera flash if you use that, extra memory cards in case you fill one up accidentally. You wanna have backup of your backup because the last thing you wanna do is tell 15 families um, something happened and I don't know, I don't know what happened. I don't know my gear enough to troubleshoot if something goes sideways. So it's really important. It's also important to have your, you know, your call a friend, to have someone um, nearby maybe that if some emergency happens that they can like run you an extra card or battery or they're gonna know something. Also, it's really important and I say this, it's important to have two card slots because you never know if a card is gonna fail you don't want to shoot 20 families and then plug in your card and nothing's on it for some reason. Um, my mini session inspiration Facebook group has like 21,000 people. So I've heard every story under the sun. Uh, a friend of mine took her memory card out because it got full and she put it in her pocket, put another memory card in and continued shooting another 20 families, went home, the card was not in her pocket. She never found it. She had to reshoot 20 something family families. And uh, it reminds me of a story that my dentist used to tell me. He's like, you know, you don't actually have to floss all your teeth. You only have to floss the teeth that you want to keep. So I always remember that when it comes to shooting with two memory cards. You don't always have to use two memory cards, but only use two memory cards on the sessions that you don't want to reshoot, like a wedding, because that would be terrible. So it's good to have a backup for a million reasons. Memory cards fail, memory cards get lost. Who knows? It's so important to have backups of your backups because you never know what's gonna happen. Okay, 
going down the list. Upselling. I never used to do that. I used to have 150 bucks for five images. I picked out the five best images and I would send them along. And then in my group, people were like, okay, gosh, now you're being dumb. Don't leave money on the table, you upsell. So now I started upselling. So either depending on how much goes into the setup, this setup is zero. So I might do my digital images, you know, a $25 session fee and then $10 per digital. Who knows? It just depends on how much is invested, how much you're gonna need each client to spend. Maybe you have a minimum of $100 and you go from there. But upselling is very important because everyone does it once they see. So I do make a gallery for every single client. So um, everything is watermarked with an X saying, please respect my work, thank you very much. So each client gets their own. Someone writes in, how do you know which kid is with which, you know, whatever. So I have the, you know, three o'clock, 3.15, 3.30, blah, blah, blah. Write the kid's name and write, you know, striped shirt, um, red shoes. Write something next to it so you can go right down the list. But I shoot in order. It's usually, I've never had a problem. Um, and you can always stalk the mom on Facebook real quick and go, oh, okay, oh, that's her kid. And then you can go from there. I don't usually have that problem. Okay, when I make my galleries, I soft proof. So I do not edit every single picture. If there's 20 images, like I said, I do a clean edit. I upload them all to Facebook. The parents decide and then place their order. And then if I have to go in and edit a little bit, it's fine. I usually don't really have to because of my off-camera flash. Okay, um, we are gonna be social distancing today. I do have my mask. I'm probably not gonna get very close. If I'm far, I'm gonna pull my mask down so you can hear me. If I have to get close to the child to tweak a pose, I will cover myself. I have one apple per child, so we're not gonna be recycling apples, especially if they're gonna to touch it and do things. And I do have disinfectant. I'm gonna just wipe down in between children. Just so you know, in case you don't actually see it with your eyes, it will be happening behind the scenes. Okay, so I think that's everything for now. Um, we're gonna wait for, Jake is our first, uh, our first model, um, and he's a character. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now and have, we'll, you'll see me shooting in about a couple minutes. Okay. Okay, so this is our first male model. Jake. Okay, I want you to put your, <laughs> I want you to lean right on the table like this and then put your foot right over like that. Perfect. I don't even have to say like, say farts. That's awesome. Okay, now let's see. Tuck your leg up like this under, put it right under your butt, kind of. There we go, there we go. Perfect. That's awesome. Get a close up here. Beautiful. All right, let's do this. Stand up in front of the stair. Take three steps. Yep, more steps, more steps, more steps. Stop. Okay, turn around, Katie, change the light, angle the light. Unsnap the top button, put your hands in your pockets, and I want you to, I want you to kind of stand like, yeah, you know where it's at. All right. Fantastic. Awesome. Perfect. Now I want you to sit on the stairs like we did the last time. Do we have to do the one in the 
11th shoot and you're barely 11th. That's pretty awesome. I'm not even 10 yet. You're not even 10! This is your 11th shoot. That's not too, not too shabby. Here, see if you can put your butt on that okay. stone. Not on the ant, maybe. Yeah, go away. Okay, you're going to sit right like that. You're going to just, yep, yeah, perfect. Put one foot a little out more than the other one and bring the other one in more. There we go, perfect. Okay, so for this one, I want you to look over where your mom is. No. <laughs> I can't help it. You can't help it? Okay. <laughs> oh God, that was really hard not to really? Cross your hands like this. Let's get one more. Oh, I know what I want you to do. Sit down in the desk again. I want you to sit down right here. I want you to take two books and your moldy apple. Take the apple. I want this book and this book. That's a real apple. Mm -hmm. Put the apple. Balance this on your head. Hold them. Hold the two books. Two hands. I'm going to put the apple right here. So hold the books, don't let go. No, 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 I, I mean balance, but like hold, but like that. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> I was going Okay, there we go, there we go. Don't move. Don't move. Try not to lose. Ah! <laughs> did, you, did you get it? Like yes, I got it. it. Cool. Okay, put the, um, let's see. Oh, I know I got it. Okay, I want you to do two fingers like this and put your arms straight forward. Oh, you got like eight chins. Hang on a second. Okay, put it right in front of your, just one, right in front of your face. No, 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 out, but, but put your arms straight out like that. There, and line it up so it's right behind. That'll work. <laughs> okay, let's do a couple more. What do you want to do? Let's do. Let's do one on the sidewalk. Let's just do one more. I wish we had the dunes or something done. You can stay, Katie. It's it's. We'll we'll do one without the flash. I wish I had the dunes hat or something. I know that was perfect. Okay. Stand right on the edge, but take five steps. That way. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so you're gonna just look right over at me. All right, now I want you to face me. Put your hands in your pocket and kind of go like this. All right, we'll get the... My hands are getting too big. Maybe your pants are, maybe your pants are getting too small. Oh, I can see the flag in the background, it's awesome. Very cute. Awesome. So now go like that again. Got it. All right. I think we're good. 
How easy was that? So I was just gonna explain really quick my camera settings, um, which I didn't do before. But um, so we're now like at the tail end of golden hour. So the sun is behind the mountain over there behind the building. So I'm shooting at 2.8, 1 500th of a second uh, shutter speed and ISO is at 500. My AD200 flash is uh, 1 8th power. Okay, that should be good. And we're using high speed sync if that, if that matters. All right, so I already know you're gonna try to give me some fake smiles. Beautiful, oh my gosh. Okay, say this stinks. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ISO 400 if it matters. Beautiful. Very cute. Okay, now follow me, stand up. Um, just angle it a little bit. I'm going to have you sit right here because I think the brick is really pretty and the brush is really pretty. So kind of scoot your buns over a little bit like that. I want you to put this leg out a little farther than this leg, just a little bit, and then kind of lean right like that. Perfect. She knows what to do. <laughs> she's, a, she's a professional just like me. I love it. Beautiful. Okay, now face me with your legs. So scoot your butt facing me and just lean right forward on your legs like that. Perfect. Put your knees right close together and then put one leg just a little bit out past the other one. There we go. Okay, ready? Can you cross your ankles? Put that leg underneath that leg. There we go, and, and tuck, tuck it a little bit this way. No, 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 go back like this. Oh, underneath like that. There we go, perfect. Put your knees right to, oh, actually leave it just like that and lean right forward like that. Very cute. Now let me get one with no smile. You know, that's my favorite, I love that. Beautiful. Don't move. I'm going to get a close-up one, so I'm going to come right like this. My eyes are really watering. From all the smiling or just from doing all the things I'm telling you to do? No, it's just that they water sometimes. Oh. That's okay. Take your hand and lean. Actually, go. Yeah, yeah, that, that's the one. That's the one I want. Okay, don't move. How cute is that? Scoot your butt this way. Boop, boop. Oh, there we go. I want it right here. Take your finger and get your hand in. There we go. Beautiful. I want you to come. I'm not quite sure what I'm envisioning, but I love these flowers over here. Why don't you sit crisscross right on the camera at the point there? Crisscross applesauce. Crisscross applesauce. Make it happen, sister. There we go. Perfect. Let me see. I'm gonna go, I think. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Katie, can you bring the flash? Just like, is there a path right there on the um, uh, cement? So I want you to be like 90 degrees to her. There we go. Beautiful. Gorgeous, you're fine, Katie, thank you. Okay, now I want you to lay on your tummy and go right down like this. Perfect, crisscross your feet like this, awesome. I'm gonna go like this, don't move. Arch your back up so your head is taller. There we go, there we go. Cross your legs again, there we go, beautiful. Okay, now drop your legs straight and cross your ankles like this. There we go, don't move. Okay, so see how you're sitting like this? I want you to raise your head up real tall. There we go, and look right towards me. Don't move. Get my camera. These are so beautiful, I love those flowers. 
So what grade are you going into? Fourth. Fourth? I mean fifth. Okay, I want a huge smile. I want to see every single tooth. Okay, tip your head this way so your bangs go like that. Get your hair on the outside of your shirt, on outside of your hand. So take your hair and put it on the outside so I can see all of it. There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, arch your back up real tall. There we go. And tilt your head slightly to the side. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, don't move. Your purpose. I'm going to stand up. Okay, cross your ankles like this. There we go. And just let them flop. Lift your chin up a little bit. There we go. Tilt your head a little bit to the side. Perfect. Very cute. Okay, come up. Come over with it me. It took me so much willpower to just sit there and not worry about the bugs. Because as soon as I stepped on one of these, a bunch of bugs were hopping. Oh, well, good to know. Okay, where's the backpack? It looks lovely with your outfit, but I'm going to borrow it. Okay, so put it on your back. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to have you stand right here. Now, you're going to hold the backpack like this. Um, you're going to turn around, turn around, put this on. Okay, so hold, there we go, perfect. With this hand, hold the strap. And what you're going to do is you're going to face the back, and I'm going to go one, okay, watch me for a second. I'm going to go one, two, three. You're going to turn around and wave like this. Turn around and wave like you're saying goodbye to your mom. Perfect, just like that. Okay, I'm going to get out of the way here. Okay. And now go the other way with your hand. There we go. Don't move. <laughs> okay, now hold the backpack like this, and then just turn and look over your shoulder. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Very cute. Okay, we're going to do one more. Take the backpack off, and you're going to just sit right on the second stair, and hold the backpack in your lap, kind of like you're getting ready to go to school. Perfect. Just like that. Okay, cross your leg behind the other leg like this. Boop, there we go. Totally adorable. Let me come this way. Okay, turn your face towards me. Go like out your fingers to get your bags out of your hair. There we go. One more. I got one more. Put the backpack just right here. I'm gonna have you balance something. There's two things. Yep, just pop it down. Put your hair in the front. One, two. Get all that wild hair. Okay, perfect. You're gonna stay on right here. I'm gonna have you balance this. Oh, and I got one more right here. Hold this. Don't let go. Put it right like that. Don't let go. Okay, hold the books, hold the books. There you go. Don't let go. Don't let go. Jake dropped it, so let's see if you don't drop it. Okay. Big smile. Ah! Oh, you blinked! One more time! Stay just like that. Got it. I have one more idea. What? Just are you kidding me? Big smile! Big smile! That's impressive. What? <laughs> you can balance it. You can put that on your resume. Alright, so I have a cork board, and you're going to hold it right like this in front of you. Okay, beautiful. Just like that. That's exactly what I want.
lower it one inch. Well, okay, stop. I want the biggest smile. Say, um, moldy bananas. I don't know. Say, Dad is stinky for me. Okay, now hold it the up and down way. There we go. And hold it like this on the side. There we go. Perfect. Get all your hair so I can see it on the side. There we go. Perfect. You hold it right up close. Down one inch. There we go. Stop. Okay. Where's that big, big smile? Say, I forget what grade I'm in. <laughs> After a summer like this, it's probably easy to forget. Okay, lower it again. A little bit lower, a little bit lower. Hold the handle with this hand. Oh, that's actually cute, hang on. Perfect. Okay, now we're done. You can put the thing right on the, right on the desk. I'm shook I can actually balance this on my head. That was impressive. I'm not gonna lie. Can I take a picture of you going for hours? Oh, actually, wait, hang on one second. I forgot I was going to do one thing over here with these okay. trees. I want you to go like underneath so you're in between and just peek out right here and hold, maybe take your fingers and kind of move those out of the way. Um, actually, let it hit you and then come a little bit forward, a little bit forward. There we go. And then I'm going to go turn your head towards me. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, don't move. Perfect, and now no smile. Okay, now go run for mom. <laughs> okay, so in a nutshell, that's about 10 to 15 minutes per kid, if that. Um, I forgot to mention before, I do allow siblings. I also encourage you know, cousins or uh, best friends, back to school with your best friend, anything like that. As long as you fit in the 15 minutes, you get the same amount of images. I don't really care how many people are in that 15 minutes. However, sometimes I will kind of encourage families to book two slots back to back um, if they're worried about time. Um, otherwise, uh, if you have any questions, just write them in, um, uh, and I'll respond to any questions uh, in the discussion board. And other than that, I think we're good. So thanks for watching.